All right. Well, all well, the steps. We're down here in this little bit of arts and crafts class. I got about 15 or 20 of these pages printed out. But I'm running into, not really a problem, but I do have to do some cutting on these to get these to fit. I want this to be a constant edge. And I want to keep the tape pretty much off the side so I can use the drawing and not have to worry about drawing on top of tape. But it is what it is. Every once in a while we have it, but it's working out pretty good. Going over here, we're going to do another one. And coming up and, uh, yeah, this is the way you have to do it. There's a little budget operation, but it should make me a nice map pretty soon. I'm going to have about maybe three more here. A couple more on each side. Yeah, we're getting things going real good. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to get the map going. Uh, one thing I excel at, and you think of this, I've been making battle maps since I was in grade school. <laughs> Top down maps. Oh, yeah. You don't know what you're up against. So, yeah, we're on this. We have a good time. We're going to make this map really nice. I mean, you, you know, come over here. Look at this one real quick. And I'll let you know. But, yeah. Oh, well, Daddy can do better than that. <laughs> I can do better than that. I mean, it's nice. We'll get all, we'll get everything in there. The rivers and everything. But, yeah. I think I can do better than that. We're, uh, we got the... I didn't even know I had these. But these will come in real handy. Not that I'm going to use them. It's not going to be, you know, a Russian front map. I don't know if anybody knows anything about Babylon Hills, but Russian front, but we'll try to get as close as we can get with our little homemade game we're all excited about getting. The thing of it is, uh, I gotta get a map down here and gotta get terrain on there because I'm ready to play this game. I gotta move my points, everything. Oh, car draw, oh, oh yeah, man, this game's ready to go on. It just has to be produced. We are well on our way. Be back. And well, welcome to making the map. <laughs> it's well on its way. We gotta do some cutting. These little printable templates from my printer are all right. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. The key is you wanna kinda of keep these in line as much as possible. I think we keep it. We're, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna keep it this size. We still have a little bit we have to add on. But uh, yeah, the map is well on its way. We'll be back. All right, then trial and error, trial and error. Here's my old one. I wasn't really lining up and I was doing all kinds of like little patterns. Here you can see, <laughs> but I found out that if you just cut, let me see, it was a new one. If you just cut the edges, I don't want to mess these up too much. But if you just go along the line here and here, they line up pretty good. So that's what we're doing on take two. They're lining up a lot better than trying to patchwork them all in. Like I said, I'm learning and uh, I'm becoming a panel expert. We'll be right back. All right, another thing, key thing in this game is the 11 miles that the convoy is going to have to go. I was thinking about one mile Texas. One, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not that far. 22, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Not bad. If I wanted to make them a quarter, no, I think maybe a half a mile might be the uh, scale we're looking for. And then, like I said, this is all just preliminary. We still gotta, we still gotta put our map together. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a great time. We will be back. Well, you might not think about it looking at it. This thing here is a thing of beauty. <laughs> I've got this down to a science. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna take a dog break. I gotta get out of here, walk the dog down in nature. But uh, yeah, we were down on it. How big I wanna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make these. It might be those two panels and that might be it. We might go for that's a nice size map. If I wanna add a little extra, just make it a little bit on the big size. So I think this is standard right here. We'll be back taking a break from our war game development series. We'll be back. All right, then what we got going on here is printing off these little sheets as I need them. I got about four or five months standby. All right, we're coming over here and trimming them off, and they fit perfect. You just got to trim off the edges on each one. I'm leaving this little spot here as the back edge, but here you go. Here's my map so far. Oh, this piece of paper represents a bunch of mountains. I'll show you right here. Ooh, South Mountains. And there it is. Oh, I can't see it. We're not up there yet. There you go. Gettysburg. 
This will tell you what my game is going to be all about. We're getting our roads and our towns the proper distance apart. Uh, one hex on this game is going to equal one mile. Gettysburg. This is just a rough outline. And you don't want to mark on this map yet. Will be these three hexes here. The roads leading out of them. And uh, like I said, I don't have it marked yet. Each uh, block is a day's walk. So we have figured out that uh, in this game, infantry is going to go four miles a day. An average person walks three miles a day. Infantry is going to have a little bit of a incentive, so to walk four. Uh, cavalry can get six miles, and a wagon train can only go three miles. So a human being can usually walk three miles in a day. Hmm. So each one of these hexes is one mile, and each one of those little blocks is a day's walk. It tells you how far you can go in a day. I mean, you could walk uh, four miles for infantry, so infantry, if they left Gettysburg, can go one, two, three, four to get it right here. This is a uh, average. We got oh, Emmitsburg, Tanny Town. Ooh, Wallsboro, Lewistown, Walkerville, and Fredericksburg. You can kind of see where we're going on with this map. Like I said, you don't want to mark on any of this. This is all preliminary. We got to get these roads and everything. And I'm, you got, I'm adding pages where I need. I think when I get done, I could probably cut this map here. But there you go. We are copying it off the computer. Getting it, getting it pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to see here if we gotta go north of Gettysburg. Yeah, we'll have to put a, we'll probably have to put us some more. If this is Gettysburg, some more sheets up here. But when we get done, we can cut off the excess and kind of condense the map. But that's the way it's going right now. No artwork yet. Oh, I got some good ideas for the artwork. Real good ideas. I'm thinking about actually getting some printed photos of aerial pictures of a, a forest from the sky printing them out as a photo quality with a little bit of shadows and making this thing oh now you didn't see nothing yet we'll be back all right now another cool thing i've been doing about this map is finding out you know if it's right uh, scale wise so let's take a little check out here tandy town is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about ten miles from mechanic town oh and i also Maybe a little scale thing here. So 10 miles between Tanny Town and Mechanic Town. We'll see here if we are on it. Uh, we have used this little scale. We'll see if we got this right. I'll show you here. I got it marked. You can't really, there you go. See we, how we got it marked there. All right, so Tanny Town is 10 miles from Mechanic Town. Ooh, which water is Mechanic Town? Tanny Town, ooh. Looks to me like it's about, uh, let me see, Mechanic Town and Tanny Town. Get it right there. It's about 15 miles. I don't know when we get better here. 11, 12 miles is a crow fly. What did we say it was? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We're loving this map. And uh, lesson in geography. This is killer. Um, Let's try another one. I'll go across. Oh, Lewistown is one, two, three, four, about four or five miles from Wool Woodsboro or Woolsboro. Wallsboro? I can't see that. Alright, so when we say it was one, two, three, four, about five miles. Uh, Lewistown, Wallsboro. Or Walkersville, that's what it is. Okay. About five miles from this town to Walkersboro. The hell is that? I can't. I can't believe I can't read that. All right, one, two, three, four. Hold on, hold on a second, because this is where it actually is. One, two, three, four, five. Lewis Town, Woodsboro. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Lewis Town, Woodsboro. Yeah, we're about five miles away. Look at how perfect that is. <laughs> Be back. All right, then based on that system, that's how I'm trying to figure out where these uh, locations are in 
use of my just a old trusty piece of paper marked in scale with this map here. Let's make sure we're still in scale. At zero ten miles. Put this thing on up to it to the edge. Yeah, my ten mile marker's right on there. All right. So then, ooh, approximately using this thing. I'm saying about seven. Six, probably like six miles northwest of Frederick is Middleton. So six miles. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. We'll put them, we'll put them right here. Six miles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's Middleton. That's how you do that. <laughs> it is great. I don't know how all these other guys make their maps, but that's how we do it here. GWG land. Look at this beautiful map. Oh, all lined up. I got my mountains there. Yeah, and like I said, this is all way preliminary. This is the before. Wait till you see the after. We will be back. I think that's about as far as we're going to go on this map here for the Gettysburg campaign. And the key to my game, Lee's retreat. We'll be back. And again, we're using the uh, calculation of three miles mar march per day. So there you go. We will be one, two, three miles. Three, there's one day's march. One, two, three miles. That's another day's march. Like I said, I looked it on up. A little notes here. A human being, average human being, can walk three miles a day on a road. It'd probably be about four. So we're saying four for infantry because they got the generals and lieutenants yelling at them, telling them to get a march on. It's not really a forced march, but I think they can go four miles a day on the road. So we're giving them four miles a day. Cavalry, we're giving six. And the wagon trains and wounded, we're only giving three. So there you go. We haven't got the roads marked on there. So the last thing you want to do is mark on this map. I want to get this stuff all set up as you can move around, get it all set up. And then when we're finally done, we'll mark roads and we'll start doing the actual artwork on the map. But that'll be a long ways away. we got to get to all these uh, cities in proximity and get these scales down right. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, then we got to figure out, you know, movement points and all the other stuff, and everything's got to be relative to everything else, you know. Uh, scale wise, time wise, time scales, land scales, movement scales. Be back. All right, well, we're going to make us another little geography distance test. Let's see how good we are. Let's get over here, back on our little spot. And for uh, just sake of you know, shits and grins, see how we're doing here on this map. We will find out how far it is from Middletown to Lewistown. According to my map, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight miles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, get a little thing here. Oh, yeah, that pencil just hit that. That cannot happen. That cannot happen. Oh, these things are perfect spots. You stupid. So, oh, I'm going to take this thing and just snap it too. Oh, that could not happen. All right. Let me see here. We're going from Middletown to Lewistown. Middletown to Lewistown with my little... Oh, it looks like it's about 10 miles. Yeah, a little bit under 10, maybe 9. 9 miles. Let's see what we got going on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... <laughs> you couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah. How long has this guy been developing these war games? <laughs> oh my goodness. We're having a great time. And what is getting us on through here? Like I said, ain't giving nothing away, but yeah. Top secret, top secret. We'll be back. Alright, then just one added comment we about these uh routes. These are uh perfect weather routes. <laughs> Dude, I've been playing games for a long time. There would definitely be mud and modifiers and everything else out the yin yang to make this about as realistic as we can. All right, we're going to call it a video. We'll be down here for a while. I want to get most of these roads and everything marked off. Like I said, we ain't got the actual roads, but we got the distance. And uh, marking each, each, these markers are, like I said, a day's walk from each one. I think that might be a little bit key when marking these roads. And we got to get those down pat. Ooh. Two roads are represented here. We're over here now to Middletown. 
on this map. Middletown is right there. There you go. Middletown and uh, uh, proximity to Walkersville. Middletown and proximity to Walkersville. See, I'm getting that look not too not looking too bad. Let me see. Hold on. We need a block here. One, two, three miles a day. So we get here, and then you'll get there within another day. One, two, three. I need another block. One, two, three. Here's a day's march. And like I said, it's just pre preliminary. My infantry will be going four miles and all that. We got this all calculated in. Just thought I'd give you a little drop in on the development of a war game. Yeah. This will be a while. <laughs> this is going to go on for uh, uh, months. And if it's a real good war game, years. But uh, we'll just give you a little video drop in. We'll be back. All right, so I just want to make note of how pre preliminary this is. This uh, roads that we're just scratching the surface on right now are mostly the Union roads. You can, you can see here, there will be other roads on the map. Or, you know, we're just barely scratching the surface on this. Don't take anything with it we got a lot of stuff yet to do we have terrain effects and everything else but yeah there'll be mother roads we got the border rivers traffic along the roads all get you know, you have begun to uh, realize what i've got in store for this game but anyway there you go no more no more freebies we're having a great time uh oh, sorry we're getting uh storage problems again that's why it cut me off uh we'll call this a video and uh, it might be a while until we have another one. Don't want to give too much away. We're having a great time, and we'll be back. Well, we're gonna have to add us another panel on down here. Like I said, I've become quite the panel expert. Got this thing pretty well flawless. Another thing I want to show you before we uh, call it a video is uh, we've scaled down Gettysburg because of this scale. It's only gonna take up one. Uh, X. And like I said, you can see this here. This all moves. We will never be marking on this map until the very end. But I got me a little bitty. Let me see here. Replica of Gettysburg. And uh, accordingly, you can see here, when we do a scale of this also, with my little. Oh, I cannot find it now. Oh, I got to press the pause feature. Hold on. Alright, again, we're using a scale. For one mile, and you'll see here. Oh, that put it up close. We'll get it on here real quick. There you go. And if you look over here at its widest point, Gettysburg's maybe half a mile wide. Oh, sorry about that. All right, and its length, though, be about a mile. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. So there's a mile, about a mile long. Half a mile wide. So we got that represented here on our game. About a mile long with the hex. Alright, I forgot about that. To delete my storage. But anyway, there you go. There's Gettysburg. It'll be down to a one hex uh, city. And we'll get that all a lot better. But anyway, that is it for now. I don't think there's anything else we need to mention. We're going to call it a video, and it might be a while uh, before we post another one. But, uh, just letting you know, we're off to a good start. Having a great time. We'll be back. All right, gonna call it a night. And uh, finally make it a video. I know I've said it a couple times, or a few times, but we are done here. We are refined this. And the orange blocks will be the towns. We've gone over it. We got ourselves a brand new little rule here to go with this. This ruler here is mostly, it has nothing to do with this board. But my proximities. Let me get you a little bit better up here. There you go. There you go. All right. So then the proximities are matching each way. I'll take out each one of these hexes as one mile, and I'll match that from this on there, on here. So I'm pretty sure I got it all set up. The grade blocks are the days marches from Gettysburg so we don't have the roads in there yet but uh, infantry can march four hexes a day so um, 
Woodsboro is one, two, three, four, five, five days march from Gettysburg on foot. Now we will also have mud movement modifiers. Uh, different roads on different days are going to be better than other roads. So you're going to have to roll for your road conditions to find out. You know, this road could be good this day, but the next day it's bad. This is a better road, so on and so forth. And you'll be paying additional movement penalties. All, uh, all you know, good day's work. <laughs> good day's war gaming design. We'll be back.